dividend cash flow every single week. That's the goal, right? To know you're never more than a few days away from that next dividend check to pay the bills. Hey, Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with a new series on the channel, highlighting the dividend stocks each month that are gonna put cash in your pocket every single week. We've highlighted weekly dividend stocks before, but it can be overwhelming putting an entire portfolio together all at once. Instead, for this series, I'm gonna show you four dividend stocks to buy each month that are gonna create that constant cash flow. I'll show you how to find these later, but let's get started with Lincoln National Corporation, ticker LNC, going ex-dividend on April 6th. Now, Lincoln has a much bigger retirement and annuities business than most life insurance companies. In fact, you see here that life insurance makes up just 28% of the revenue, with group protection another 26%, so invest investments are nearly half of the total sales. Now that's helped the company produce faster growth and higher returns than more traditional insurance companies in the past, but has absolutely wrecked it in this environment of those surging interest rates and market volatility. The annuity business makes the company more interest rate sensitive and the fastest increase in interest rates in 40 years has really weighed on the company's bond investments. It's all pushed the shares down more than 65% over the last year. But this is still a financially healthy company with an investment grade credit rating, strong liquidity position, and no serious debt maturities that would require more capital. In fact, it's already pre-funded the entire 2023 debt maturities. And the company generated over $4 billion in free cash flow last year and is expected to return to those positive earnings growth this year with profits of $8.48 a share. That means the sell-off has taken LNC to just 2.7 times on a price-to-earnings basis. LNC did issue a billion dollars in preferred shares in the third quarter to shore up its capital and paused its stock buybacks through 2023, but now cash flow is improving and the dividend is easily covered by its earnings. That 6.6% dividend yield is paid out through 45 cents a share payments four times a year in January, April, July, and October. I wouldn't expect much dividend growth until the earnings do improve, but company crew dividends by 6% annually over the last five years. So yes, that interest rate sensitivity has hit the shares over the last year, but could become a blessing when rates start to fall next year. You can see here in data from Morgan Stanley on how cheap the stock has become. That price to earnings that averaged about six times in the past and was as high as nine times in 2018 is now under three times price to earnings. So this means not only a solid 6.5% dividend, but serious price appreciation on this one. Remember though, the ex-dividend date is April 6th, so you're gonna need to own the shares before that date to get the current payment in April. And we're just getting started on our weekly dividend stocks list, but I wanna explain how this is gonna work, how to put together your own dividend portfolio. We're using the historical data tab here on Yahoo Finance to find these dividend dates for each stock. And I'm gonna show you how to do this later, but understand the dates here are ex-dividend dates. Remember that ex-dividend date is the first day the stock trades without the dividend. So to get that dividend, you're going to need to buy the stock on the day before this date. Also though, this isn't the day the dividend is going to hit your investing account. That actual payment date usually comes about 10 days to a couple of weeks after the ex-dividend date. Owning the stocks that go ex-dividend in different weeks though, like we're doing here, when those dividends do get paid, it's going to be a stream of weekly cash flow to pay your bills. I want to get back to our list, so I'm going to show you how to find these and make your own dividend stocks list later on. AT&T, ticker T, burned a lot of investors over the years, but the new focus back on telecom and a 6% dividend makes this one one to watch again. AT&T failed miserably at the acquisition strategy, taking on tens of billions of dollars in debt to buy Time Warner and DirecTV over the years. It's now sold or spun off those non-core assets and is refocusing on its telecom roots. And the company is back to seeing healthy wireless growth with segment revenue expected higher by 4% this year. That's double the 2% growth for Verizon. AT&T also added more than 660,000 postpaid customers last quarter, more than three times Verizon and second only to T-Mobile in the industry. Now that, combined with growth in its fiber business, set to hit 30 million locations by 2025 from just 22 million today, and AT&T is back to being a cash machine. With the top three carriers controlling 90% of the wireless market, there's really no reason to compete on price, and while they're not gonna make you rich, it's gonna be a safe and stable dividend. AT&T pays out $1.11 per share in four installments, usually the second week of the month in April, July, October, and January. Now, the dividend was cut last year ahead of the spinoff, but the company is now paying just 45% of its earnings, so I expect that dividend to start growing again. We still got two more dividend stocks, including the highest yield of the group, but I also want to highlight a special offer on the Weeble app. Use the link I'll leave in the description below and get three free stocks up to $3,300 when you fund a new account. 
The free is always great, but what I really like about the app is the stock simulator that allows me to test out my different ideas and just track stocks before investing my own money. So check this one out. Now the yield on shares of Caterpillar, ticker CAT, aren't the highest, but I like the upside on the stock over the next few years. CAT is the world's largest manufacturer of construction and mining equipment, with the strongest dealer network reaching over 193 countries. Now we recently looked at Caterpillar in our This versus That series against shares of Deere and Company, and we found that Caterpillar has more exposure to that $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill with money starting to flow to the states later this year. That could really drive sales and cash flow for the next two years at least. And the company is already expected to post 12% earnings growth this year to $15.91 a share, which means the stock trades for a relatively cheap 14 times on that price to earnings basis. And yes, that yield may not look quite so attractive at just 2%, but Caterpillar has increased its payment by 9% annually over the last five years, the fastest dividend grower on our list. It generally goes ex-dividend in the third week of April, July, October, and January, with the upcoming date of April 22nd, so be watching for that. And here, CAT pays out just 30% of its earnings in dividends, and with the growth expected over the next few years, I'd expect it to grow those payouts even faster. Now, you know, I can't just drop a list of stocks in your lap and say, go buy these. I want to walk you through how to make your own list of dividend stocks so you become the better investor. To start your dividend research, we can go to the historical data tab here on Yahoo Finance for any dividend stock to find the stock price and the dividend history. We can change this time period to five years and to show dividends only. That's going to show you every ex-dividend date and the amount paid over that entire time period. You can now see the history of the dividend increases, cuts, and growth all right here. And dividend paying companies, they know their investors count on those payments, so they try to pay out on extremely consistent schedules year after year, even down to the same day. From here then, all we have to do is make a list of the annual dividend dates for each of our favorite stocks, or for every dividend payer here in the S&P 500 like I did. Then you just go through the dividends paying out each month, buy at least one stock going ex-dividend for each week, and you're gonna lock in that weekly cash flow. Throughout the series, I'll be highlighting a new list of dividend stocks each month, so make sure you join the community by tapping that subscribe button so you don't miss a single episode. One of my favorites here with Kinder Morgan, ticker KMI, and its 6.6% dividend yield and an ex-dividend date of the last week in April. Kinder is the largest energy infrastructure company in the S&P 500, with over 82,000 miles of pipeline, 140 export terminals, and a growing energy transition portfolio. You see in the business mix scale at the bottom here, the company is more heavily focused on natural gas than most energy companies. That could be a big upside as natural gas or LNG exports increase over the next few years. The price of natural gas is five times higher in Europe and Asia than it is here in the United States and companies are going to be making billions exporting it. And what a lot of investors like about KMI is it offers the opportunity to invest in these energy pipelines, terminals, and storage but without having to deal with that K-1 tax form that comes with those master limited partnerships or MLPs. KMI is a corporation, so it's going to operate just like any other stock. Kinder is aggressively building out its alternative energy business with renewable natural gas and carbon reduction assets. This is going to help it transition from oil and coal, but could mean higher capital expenditures and lower cash flow in the near term. As this chart says, energy transitions do take time, but that's also going to mean strong assets in its fossil fuels is going to continue to generate the profits for decades to come. More than 13% of the company is owned by management, most of that over 10% by founder Rich Kinder himself. The company has grown its dividend by 7% annually over the last five years and produces $3.3 billion in free cash flow. Here the shares pay a 28 cent dividend four times a year for that 6.6% yield with ex-dividend dates in the last weeks of April, July, October, and January. Now you've still got a few weeks on this one, but don't miss that ex-dividend date and own the shares before so you can pick up that payment. Get your free stocks on the Weeble app with the link below or click on the video to the right for the dividend kings that will never let you down. Seven stocks with 50 plus years of increasing dividends. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.